If it seems like back to school started earlier this year, well, that's because it did in some districts. We wanted to know why some districts are in a hurry to get back to class. Jordan Burgess is on school patrol tonight to examine what's behind this early start. Everything seemed like just a normal school day here at Southdale Elementary in Kettering, from the kids excited to be back to the crossing guards on alert. But one thing was very different the calendar. But I was kind of shocked that they started doing it this way. School started Tuesday for students here in Kettering. That's one week earlier than last year and two weeks earlier than two years ago. And it meant summer break went by faster than a student trying to make it to class on time. Kids and teachers were thrilled about that, by the way. While their tans may have suffered, Kettering superintendent thinks their test scores will sizzle. He tells us that's why he pushed to start earlier. It's like if your kid took a big test and had two weeks extra to get ready. So we think starting early gives the Kettering kids a huge leg up. Parents seem pretty open to the idea for a different reason. I was happy about it because the um, child care situation is lessened. As a mom of three, I was really excited. <laughs> but not every school can start as early as Kettering because they're missing one key ingredient. First, you have to have air conditioning in your buildings. Some districts do not. Without air conditioning, the dog days of August end up turning into the makeup days of June. But they don't worry about June here in Kettering now. The nice thing about starting early is finishing early. The last day for students this year, May 22nd. I never thought kids learned much in June. Jordan Burgess, 2 News.